Hi everyone, welcome to Wes Knows Tech News and Reviews. So today I want to tackle a concept. What is better, new or old? Today I want to discuss the Garmin Venue SQ, which is new, only a couple of weeks old, and then of course the Honor Magic Watch 2, 42 millimeters from May 2020, which is slightly older at six months. Let's dive in into a head-to-head -head versus the Honor Magic Watch 2 and the Garmin Venue SQ. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out. Let's be fair. The Venue SQ from Garmin is new. Well, on paper at least. But really, it is just a cut down version of the existing 2019 Garmin Venue. Basically, it looks like the Venue SQ is a cut-down version made to look cheaper, feel cheaper, and have slightly less sensors, a bit of slightly less tech, just to make sure that the original Venue does remain the flagship of the two models. The biggest change on the Venue SQ is the face of it. That is what was hit the most. Just look at it. So it's square. The Venue is round. But that's not the only difference. This screen is LCD. So the diameter on the round one was 1.2 inch, but it is a lovely AMOLED. It's bright, it's deep blacks. This one is just an LCD panel. Yes, diagonally, it is a 1.3 inch screen, so it's not small, but it is not as bright. We also lost the barometric altimeter. The GPS altimeter is used currently in the SQ. Garmin didn't stop there, it also removed the gyro sensors, it got rid of the live watch faces and a couple more cut downs have been going on. But let's put it this way, if you are not a pro athlete, you probably won't even notice the differences between the original Venue and the Venue SQ. The only differences are again visual, so it doesn't look as smart, it doesn't look as elegant, but then the original does cost 300 pounds, while this one is only 190 pounds and then we have the honor magic watch too now when this thing came out back at the end of may 2020 it caused the storm it was the item that everybody wanted a piece of it was that popular i'll tell you what it's still popular and i'll tell you why the price on this thing is only 130 quid or 150 bucks. For that price, you get a very sharp AMOLED screen. The blacks are deep, the colors are super bright, but that's not all. Of course, there's a whole ton of wellness and fitness features. As an example, there are 100 sport modes. There's even a dedicated running app with 13 courses of varying intensities. And if you fall behind, the haptic alerts or Bluetooth voiceovers will get you back on track. I personally think that these two watches are fighting it out in the similar market space because they are going for those health-minded and fitness-minded individuals that do want to either lose weight or track their runs, their fitness, etc. So now, let's get ready to rumble. Let's dive in into a head-to-head -head versus the Honor Magic Watch 2 and the Garmin Venue SQ. And the obvious place to start the comparison is design. The Magic Watch 2 is an obvious winner here, hands down. The watch case is metal. In fact, the case is made of refined 316L stainless steel. This steel grade is actually aerospace industry grade because of its low susceptibility to corrosion. The watch has a solid look and feel to it, especially in black, but still so light at only 29 grams. Diameter of the watch face is 42 millimeters. The lugs are short and neat. The thickness is just under 11 millimeters. The straps are 20 millimeters and are interchangeable with third party bands as well. Note the screen, it's plastered from brim to brim in a seamless fashion. All corners are rounded, so when wearing it to the office, it won't scuff or catch your long sleeve shirts or blouses. The Venue SQ is more simple in terms of design, it's just not as elegant. It's square, in essence going back to the Garmin Vivo series roots. Dimensions are 37 by 40 by 11 millimeters, so it is just slightly thicker than the Honor Magic Watch 2. It is heavier at 39 grams. From personal experience though, it's very ergonomic. The design is comfortable and you just don't feel the extra weight. The bezel is plastic. The two buttons on the side are also plastic. 
the lugs are as well. But fear not, because that's only a close inspection that the Garmin Venue SQ may look a bit budget. From afar and while wearing the watch, it looks businessy and quite serious. And now let's touch upon the display specs. So with the Honor Magic Watch 2, you do have a 1.2 inch AMOLED display. So we said that previously, but did you know that the resolution is 390 by 390? That gives you a 326 PPI. Look at that screen, the blacks are very deep. The detail on the watch face is spectacular. And as you can see, there's no issues with reading values of the screen outdoors. You can dig into the settings and find the brightness options. There are five brightness levels, plus an auto brightness setting, which is actually great at this price point. As with the design, the Venue SQ just can't match the Honor specs with a 1.3 inch color LCD screen. Thankfully, it does come with Corning Glass 3, so it is scratch resistant to some extent. There are three brightness levels, and let's be fair, the colors do look more washed out than on the AMOLED screen, but the viewing angles are still excellent. There's more than enough space for the menus and check it out. When using Garmin Pay, entering your four digit code is as easy as Pi on this large screen. Both watches allow for face downloads, but the depth of options and customization does lie with the Garmin Venue SQ. Let's get into the features and functions. So the Honor Magic Watch 2 is water resistant up to 50 meters. Set up the pool length, choose a goal such as time, calories or number of laps and dive in. All that data is broken down into segments and charts along with a snapshot of your swim and can be viewed in detail on both the watch face and the Huawei Health app. The same goes for Garmin Venue SQ. In fact, you can even track your open water swimming because both watches have dual inbuilt GPS. I touched upon a dedicated running courses app on the Magic Watch 2. Well, it has a real-time voiceover guidance that can help you improve your endurance with 13 different running courses. The haptic vibrations or Bluetooth voiceovers can keep you within the target heart rate zones and time ranges set up for the courses. But the Garmin Venue SQ does give you a much more personalized feel to improving your running. All you need to do is you open up your Garmin Connect app, you go and find the Garmin Coach, you put in your goals, whether it is to run faster or longer or both or whatever, and you have the choice of actually choosing the coach you wanna use and you feel like it's a live experience. You basically go in, you choose the coach that you like, their method of teaching, and you sign up. You will get the number of days you're going to be training every week and these downloadable courses are structured courses to get you to your desired level within a time frame. For example, five weeks, 10 weeks, 20 weeks, however long and however high you set the target for yourself. Honor has an SpO2 monitor, essentially provides on-demand measurement of the oxygen saturation level in your blood. This is a crucial addition considering this medical tech feature can forewarn of respiratory and lung conditions such as bronchitis, asthma, etc. If the SpO2 monitoring is continuous, it can actually have much more benefit rather than an on-demand and at a point in time basis. If tracked overnight, it can bring massive benefits and forewarn of conditions like sleep apnea. And here the Venue SQ shines bright. You can choose whether you want it on the full day or overnight. This provides much more insight into your breathing patterns and respiratory health. At the end of the day, the Honor Magic Watch 2 is a much cheaper watch than the Garmin SQ, and nonetheless, it does still bring cool features to your table, such as medically certified sleep tracking, and that will monitor your deep, your light, as well as your REM sleep. The Venue SQ matches with similar stats. Surprisingly, for the relatively low price point, well, at least lower than the Garmin, at 130 quid, you actually do get 4GB of inbuilt storage on the Honor Magic Watch 2 and two of these 4GB can actually be used for music. Do note that you can only use an Android phone which is paired to your watch to actually transfer the music over to your watch. Yeah, you can play it later using an iPhone, but just remember that you do need an Android phone to chuck the music over. Now, with the Venue SQ, there's a slight problem. If you want inbuilt storage and you want to transfer music, you will have to get the Venue Music SQ, which is 50 quid more expensive. 
the Venue SQ does overtake the Magic Watch in functionality. You get the likes of Garmin Pay. Tapping the code and off you go tapping away spending your hard earned money. There's a respiration rate monitor, stress tracking and a body battery. Basically it's smart tech that tracks the exercise you perform during the day, looks at your heart rate, SpO2 and sleep data to give you a score that represents how much charge you have left for the new day ahead. An awesome addition is the female menstrual cycle tracking. The Venue SQ can also connect to AMP Plus and Bluetooth smart sensors for your gym workouts and treadmill runs. The watch from Honor is 130 quid and I honestly believe that it brings much more value than any other smartwatch in that particular price bracket. The Venue SQ on the other hand is the slightly more expensive but also at that price point at 189 pounds without the music it still brings much more value than anything I have seen or reviewed for that matter at that price point. By the way Thank you to everybody who has already subscribed to the Wesnos channel. If you haven't though, please click on the red subscribe button below the screen to make sure you don't miss out on any of the new content coming out.